Hey there, YouTubers. It's uh, me, Lee, back here. Um, just figured we'd go over my new mower there that got delivered. I've been a couple weeks now. I have it in the garage here. Um, it's the uh, Z530M. Um, uh, it's a new model for 2021. It's actually got the roll bars and stuff here. Um, yeah, I'll turn the camera around here and we'll show you it and go over a few things. Yeah, so here's the mower um, that it tucked away in the garage here. It's going to be a bit for we're mowing here in Vermont. Um, hopefully by Memorial Weekend we can mow. Um, yeah, I like this mower. I coming off a Cub Cadet, I believe it was a ZTL or maybe a ZT1. I'm not sure, but it was a 54 inch fabricated deck I had on it. Um, that was a good mower. Um, I had no issues with it, honestly. The only big complaint was the seat was so uncomfortable. Um, I just, I didn't like that much. And uh, yeah, the ride was a little rough on it, but for the most part, it did what I needed around the house. But I decided it was time for a new one. Um, some tax purposes here, we got a, some write off. So we picked up a new mower for this year. I'm gonna do some residential mowing for people and myself here at the house so went with the this the 530m i almost went for the r but uh it was a thousand dollars more and i really don't need lights i don't mow at night um usually you get toward that time you get moisture and stuff and it makes more of a mess than what it's worth so i didn't need the light package um yeah the deck i believe has this piece right here on the R actually, I believe goes right around through here. Um, so that was kind of a nice thing, but I think this is plenty rugged. I never damaged my Cub Cadet deck, so. But yeah, the M still comes with the nice uh, premium handles here, which are very nice, very comfortable. Um, still has a floor mat. The only difference is it don't come up to here like the R does. And the R actually comes with these handles or footrest i added these myself managed to pick them up on uh i believe the green tractor store had them um i picked them up i think that's nice so this right here just it'll lift right up you can get right in underneath your deck you can see here it has a fuel level right here you can see but also right here on the side so the Hour meter stays on, I guess, even when it's off. Um, my old John Deere as well did that, but if we turn that on, there you go. You can see the fuel gauge right there, along with the hours. I like that. Nice to have. Um, your uh, throttle, choke lever, obviously your PTO engagement is right here. So that's nice. Um, and the seat is awesome absolutely awesome i'm 6'3 and this thing fits me really well um i love the little engraved john deere thing there in the seat the difference the air i think has the screen coming down into here and it's also a little bit taller um i don't know i don't think it's enough to really complain um does have the Kawasaki motor on this one it uh, 24 horse so that's uh that's nice I've always had good luck with Kawasaki motors let me take this just pull this lever back here and you can raise the seat up um, and then you can see right under here you can get to everything really easy I like the hydraulic motor hydraulic reservoirs on each one you can open up, look in, see your level. Um, you can see that little black levers down here, I believe is to uh, disengage these motors if you need to push or pull your mower, should you have to. Fuel filters right here. Um, just uh, your oil fill right here. Um, this is kind of nice, the air. I like this setup for the air filter. Very nice, just lift up. Um, you can see right down in there is the oil filter. This right here, your oil line drain. 
just unpull it out of here, stick it down through, put it into a pan, loosen this up, your oil drains out. Super nice. Um, really like that. Just everything is so nice to get to on this machine. Um, and it seems well built. Uh, over here, I'm going to do this one handed. Lift up here, pull that off. There's your battery. Like how it's covered, protected. Sits in there, very easy to get to um, if you should have to. And obviously, all your service information is all right here. All your hours you should be doing stuff at, belt tension, all that stuff. Um, it's got plenty of storage spots for stuff, cup holders. Here's to adjust your hydraulic motors. Um, your tracking here, you go right here, put that there, and that would adjust your tracking. If you're going left, you're going right too much, you adjust either side there to help that. Huge fuel or gas cap here. Um, love that. It's got a little drain thing here if you should spill. It's just going to run onto the ground. Um, actually, it'd be on the deck and then on the ground, but at least it ain't just filling up and sitting all over everything else. Over here, we have another storage little toolbox. Um, right here, it does have your 12 volt for phone plug in, charge your phone, keep that while you're going. Um, on the iron model, they do have a cover that covers this. And I'm not sure if that's gonna be an option at some point to add to the M. Um, I don't see why, because they look identical, the box itself. So that would be awesome. I looked, I couldn't find one yet. Um, what I did add, like I said earlier, I added these, I like that, and the rear bumper. I added the rear bumper on here. Um, I think that's really good to have. It mounted up super easy. It sits right on the tab that's already on the machine, so you ain't fighting to hold it. Then you just put your, your uh, bolt through and tighten it up and then you have your two existing bolts that would be right here for adding a hitch or whatever. Pull them out, put them back through. There you go. Uh, super easy install. And I think for, I think it was 230, 240, don't hold me to it. It was right around there. I think it's worth it. You go to turn quick back into something. I mean, these are never that thick. You're probably gonna smash it. So this is, this is rugged. Um, that's a nice feature that I threw on here. And of course, we get to the roll bars, which this model now has. I'm, I like having roll bars. I do have some hills. Um, I just, you turn these, turn it like that. You do the same thing on the other side. And then you got three positions you can keep it in. This will lay all the way down and set here if you want, completely out of the way. For me, that ain't really a concern, so yeah. Um, but yeah, there's that. Um, I just put the, you got a little net here. I don't know if you wanted to keep your tractor manual or what in there, but I keep my manual on the garage here in the toolbox. Um, see if I can do this one handed. I gotta hold <laughs> this bar, set the seat down, there. And of course, there's a seat belt here on this one. Um, so it's a much safer machine. I think that people are gonna be mowing on hills, iffy situations. You shouldn't, there is a limit to about anything on a hill. So um, I, uh, I wouldn't push it to its limit, but it makes me feel a little bit more secure. Um, then over here, We've got the uh, mower, the depth gauge here for height of cut. Um, you go up to all the way four inches, and then you go right down through all these, you can see. Um, super nice. This is magnetic, pulls out. There it is, and back end, and it's in there secure. Um, this right here is to lower your deck. You just push down on your foot pedal and push down on this and you're down all the way. When you want to raise it back up, just push right all the way forward on this. Lifts it up, locks it in. Really slick. Um, 
yeah, I know it ain't a commercial mower. Um, it'll work for me. I mean, it's still rugged enough. This will last me quite a while. Um, I looked at the 7 Series. I just, about 8,000 to get into one. I didn't want to um, spend the extra. That's what it came down to. Um, and I like this. The Cub Cadet didn't have this. Um, these right here to help. There are anti-scalping wheels here in the middle, which is, that's a good thing to have, I believe. I caught a few times. Um, I went with 54, plenty big enough for what I'm doing. Um, I got a little bit of hilly's hill and uh, it'll just scalp it if I go any bigger. Um, yeah, so I say just had this a couple weeks in, in here. Um, I really like it. Um, the only other thing, the iron does come with I believe they're 23 inch tires. These are 22. And the IR also has like this real fancy trim piece here that's green, but yeah, probably just something else to get busted off. Um, and underneath here, this flips up, got your grease point right there's your grease fittings on all, all of the, all of the hubs here, um, which is awesome. Got good at had none. Um, that was unfortunate. Um, everything's pretty well greasable on it. These levers are adjustable. I put them in the highest position. You can see on the back. I moved them up and I moved them forward. I'm tall, so that worked best for me. But it's a nice mower. I'm excited to get to try it. Um, as soon as I get some hours on it this summer, I'll do a real review on how well it cuts. Um, the hydraulic motor power and we'll get into all that good stuff but i just figured i'd do a quick little overview of the m i haven't seen much i've seen a couple of e models and r models um you can still add the light kit if you want to add the light kit it's even got the uh knockout cutout right here to put your light switch um i'm pretty sure it's all easily you can wire it up um I don't know if it's $300 or whatnot. I just, I don't need lights. Um, some people like to have them on there. It's not for me. Um, these seem like pretty decent front wheels. Um, the only thing, it's a little disappointing when you go, I don't know why, and if you go to this five series model, you can't ever upgrade, I guess right now to the tweels, um, which are just the all, rubber suspended tire on um, their sellers no air in them i would have loved to have uh upgraded to them at some point but um it's fine i just check the air pressure keep it all good and hopefully we don't run over any nails um but yeah that's my overview i say this is the new 2021 z 530 m from john deere i bought it from my john deere dealer um the same people i my 3039 are up at. I've had great luck with harvest equipment. Um, they're great to deal with and they get service and parts. So that's what I like to stick with when I'm buying stuff. You got to have service and you got to have parts availability. So I kind of went this route and I'm excited to try it. If anybody has any questions or uh, anything you'd like to know extra here, I didn't go over, just leave a comment down below. Um, I'll try to reach out to you. I do try to go through the comments once in a while here. Um, I probably should be a little better about it, but I have a lot going on. I do lawn service, excavation, and I also help manage a rock quarry here in Vermont. So um, I can't, <laughs> I get pretty busy. So I do what I can to reach out to people. Um, if you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe. I say there's gonna be a lot of stuff coming out this coming summer, I have a GoPro ordered. Um, we're gonna do some excavation videos. I have a huge shop pad I gotta do for somebody. Um, a complete driveway restoration ditching um, that's gonna be on the video. So yeah, please like, subscribe. Um, thank you all and I hope you have a great day. Bye.